Hey, hey, well, I'm a hot mess. It's Saturday the 26th, and I very rarely go out on a Saturday, let alone all the way to the other side of town. But when one of your local thrifter friend calls or texts you and shows you her cart is half full of smiley stuff, you just get here. I actually had to go back inside the house and get my real shoes on because I had um, my house slippers on. I was so excited. Oh, there she is. There's Leslie. Okay, I got it all into my cart. We chatted for a while. And I did the rest of the Christmas aisle, which is the craziest. And listen. Hang on, I see something. Hang on. Oh my goodness. Okay, hello. Oh, gosh. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I just saw it at the corner of my eye. Anyways, um, picked up a few random things I saw. So again, I just ran out of the house. My nails are bare. Look at that. That's what I was going to do today and tag stuff from my booth. That has the milkweed behind it. So $1.99, yes. And this will be half price. It only has a couple little nicks. So I better get that. Um, these are adorable. I can't read what that says, but I can read USA and it looks pretty important. And they're just adorable little kids cups. Oops. Now, all of this is new stuff, the smiley stuff, but it's, you know, when they're gone, they're gone. I know some of it's even from Walmart. There is something I don't have. I don't have one of those. And these are getting harder to find with the lid on top, these Telefloor with the lid. And this is one here that I don't have. Gosh, my hands. This one's got some added element of dots. Looks like it had a place for, oh, okay, I know. That's the notch for the lid to go in. Retallic, China. I don't care, I don't have it. And then she found this grab bag of weird smiley things for only $1.99, so why not? So, you saw me just get this. This is going to be for me. I don't know whose it is. It's not perfect, but it's awesome. I actually, it's so weird. I actually ran across something like this while I was doing research online. And I remember thinking, oh, that is really cool. So I know I can find the maker again. But that's going to be mine. That has too much Art Deco flavor. Some little trinkets. That's a cute little pottery piece. And these are for me, half price. I've got the big ones. These are the ones from Portugal. And I love the dragonfly. So those are going to be for me. But those do have a little bit of resale value. Oh, hello. Of course I put this in the cart, right? Of course I did. There's three of them in there. <laughs> Homemade little vintage things. This will probably be for me, too. That's cute, little acrylic hangy thing. $2.99. Oh, it's still new with tag. I like these vintage Hallmark cards. I'm pretty sure they're somewhat vintage. $1.99, because they were only $9.50. But it has a tropical animal scene on it. And inside it says, there is only one Earth let us honor her spirit, guard her resources, and protect her creatures. So I think that's a nice holiday card. Couldn't resist this with the beadwork, a little bit of ceramic Christmas tree, Santa Claus, um, <laughs> Santa Claus, snowman, and a red cardinal, something else down there, tipping his hat, $2.99, I think I'll put that in the booth. And for half price, I do love my Lucite stuff. Yeah, I think some. I think that's still in good enough shape. Someone would like that for their bathroom. And I'm going to find out what this is. So I'm just putting it in the cart. Let me get the glare off of it. This is kind of epic. It's got an older frame. That is really cool. 
Got some yurt huts in the back. I think I do see a farmhouse in that corner. Anyways, I'll try to figure out the name, but I'm probably gonna go for this. There's something about it I dislike. Okay, so there was something I was gonna show you guys in here. Well, I guess I missed it. Let's see what this is. They have quite a bit of this. Okay, let me think. Madeira? Francisco Madeira? Is that Tiffin? I can't remember. And they have the tall tumblers too, but um, I'm not really feeling the green. So, and they're not half price. But their tall tumblers are behind me. this is and I did notice there's a lot of Italian pottery here I am at the south one Hancock and Academy sorry across from the bins I usually don't come here unless I'm doing a meetup with some of the Colorado crew and we're going to hit the bins hey I'm gonna turn around slowly because I can show you the other pieces I have some that I'm going to sell but they're red I'm just not feeling the green, but if you're local, it's still just Saturday, so Saturday the... I'm going to turn around slowly, and i got to point to the floor for a minute. Saturday the 26th. All colors are half price for everybody except for... That's chipped. Except for pink. So you know a lot of the stuff I pick out is going to be pink. Hang on, I see something I want to get for myself. This is Corel. Lots of Corel. And some of the patterns have good resale value, but I've got one of these and I could use another one. Corel, yeah. This is called something Yay! Miami. Something, um, oh my gosh, South Beach kind of name. <laughs> can't remember I now. Tag, I've never seen that one. Three. Not Three. loving it though. Sorry you guys. And I have some of these Three. and I like them. I'll take another one. I think I'm okay to, with that Christmas music plan to just let you guys look for a little bit and do some backup shots too. I film with my phone so I tend to come in close so I can see things and you guys can see things up close too but some people are saying they would like some far away shots too so there you go I think I'm about done it's getting really busy for a Saturday so the verdict on this that says Henry Jourdain H-E-N-R-I Jourdain French I believe which surprised me I thought this was going to be Japanese or something anyways it's just a print and it is a little older it would be six dollars but it's just a print but in better formats those do have some pretty good resale value the only other thing I really added was this fun t-shirt for my crazy t-shirt sale. And when I was putting that back, I spotted this behind something. Buffalo Dancer, it says, Sand Art, and it will be half price, $5. Oh, sorry, I did find a Whiting and Davis, too. Whiting and Davis little clutch. $5.99, half price. Oh, that's half, yeah, $5. Okay and some hangers padded hangers three packs for only 99 cents so i got all three of them so that's nine of them for three dollars all right i think i'm going to go on now i found this laying around i'm going to put it back on jewelry on my way to the cash register and i guess since i'm all the way on this side of town i'm going to pass like at least eight thrift stores on the way home. I might stop at one more. I might stop at New Horizon. 
but <laughs> definitely a different Saturday for me. Okay, I'm going to put this back and I will talk to you guys probably in a few seconds. Okay, I chose New Horizons because they're usually not too busy. They're closed on Sundays and the prices are always the best. So we'll do a few minutes in here so I can flesh out this video for you guys. Maybe I can even get it up tonight. There's one thing about this though that I... I left the house early. I told you guys that. I mean, I had to go back and put my shoes on. I had my house shoes on because <laughs> I wanted to get down there and not keep her waiting. And it's all the way across town. So I've had coffee and half a piece of toast for the last three hours. So I knew if I stopped here, I was going to end up having popcorn for lunch. Well, that's probably not <laughs> the best idea, but I don't really like to do fast food, which is crazy because... Instead, I'm going to do chocolate-covered popcorn. Oh, well. <laughs> I'm going to go pay for this so I can start eating it. Hey, before we get started, what what is happening here? Dr. Pepper Dark Berry. Huh. Limited edition. And then Dr. Pepper Cream Soda. I do love cream soda. Cream Soda 7-Up Ginger Ale is my soda of choice. I try not to do it at all, but... Dr. Pepper, hmm. Oh well, I just wanted to show you guys that because I thought it was interesting. Got a little popcorn in me, feel better. <laughs> that popcorn is the best. Now it is later afternoon on a Saturday, so it shows you guys. Might as well stop. Royal Majestic Bells. Oh, that's, oh darn it, it's chipped. Which get excited. Sometimes you see things, right? Anyways, we can probably find something. No sense in not popping in on the way home. It's, it's only about 3 o'clock still. It's one of those crackle glass plates, but it's a little different. 99 cents. Oops. Sorry, you guys, 99 cents. Just not as pretty as the ones that I've been buying made here in Colorado, we finally figured out, which I suspected. Yeah, a little picked over. That's okay. We're going to find something. I got my popcorn, so... I think green is the color tag today. I'm trying! baskets again unless it's pretty epic I usually do those at the bins those are resin beautiful purple but it's flash and that's hand decorated the only thing vintage e vintage -y a little bit in that one but not really the best sellers Okay, hang with me while we turn around. I looked at this last time. It's kind of contemporary. These were real popular things like this in the, what, 80s, 90s? It is half price though, $2. Looking at frames is never a bad idea if you have time. It's interesting. Definitely older. Hmm. It's only 99 cents. I think I might get that. Oh no, wait a minute. Hang on. I see it now. It was covered up by the reflection. There's some damage coming off the top. But could you put it up? Okay. That's too much thinking. So. Know whose this is? It's got a 80s, not 70s, 80s vibe, doesn't it? Dollar 99. Flavia. I don't know what that is. I don't remember that 
version of, you know, there was like love is and precious moments and all that, but I don't remember that version. Okay, literally super picked over and nobody seems to be stalking this late. Really couldn't find anything to show you guys. So I'm over in the furniture. We'll look at some furniture. 1999. Somebody upcycled this, maybe. That's kind of cute. Noah's Ark. Little animals for the. No, this has to be commercially done. Little animals for the spacers. It's got an IKEA vibe. I think it came that way. Anyways, it's cute, right? So, all I can think of is show you guys some furniture. Sorry, resellers, but those of you that just like to virtually shop, you might just like looking at a little furniture with me. If I see something kind of outstanding, I'll tell you the price. Did I Hi, you guys. Sorry, I'm at home now. <laughs> I didn't find anything, but I just took my popcorn and enjoyed it on the way home. So sorry that I didn't do an outro. But I hope you had a little bit of fun anyways on this spontaneous adventure today. And shout out to Leslie for the heads up on the smiley. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. <laughs>